Hi, this is Matias Tassano and I'll be presenting a method for deep video denoising which we call fast DVDNet. Before we continue with the method itself, I'd like to mention the motivation behind this work, which has been to improve the noise in performances in embedded systems. Embedded systems are limited in computational resources, so the denoising algorithm has to be very fast. About the problem of video denoising, we note that it is a less popular subject compared to image denoising, for example, as we have uh, fewer publications. And a reason for this is possibly the fact that video denoising has additional complexities. In particular, one has to impose temporal coherence in the results. And we know that this temporal stability is crucial in the perceived quality of the results. An example to illustrate this point is the following. A noisy sequence has been denoised with the famous BM3D image denoiser. So each frame has been denoised individually, separately from the rest. As we can see the result, it features annoying temporal artifacts, flickering, which are particularly annoying and visible. So how do we enforce this temporal stability? There are two main strategies. The first one is the use of multiple input frames. And the second one is handling the motion in these input frames. Here the idea is to align objects in the different frames. Most algorithms explicitly estimate the optical flow to compensate motion. As we will see, our algorithm implicitly handles motion without the need of estimating the optical flow. So our approach incorporates these ideas. However, we know that compensating motion by estimating optical flow can be expensive and could take lots of time. Instead, our method avoids estimating the optical flow, yet we know handling motion is important. Our architecture employs multi-scale denoising blocks, which have been observed to handle some degree of motion. As several of these blocks are combined in a two-step cascaded denoising architecture, our method successfully handles motion without estimating the optical flow. We can see the architecture of our method on the left. We see five input frames in yellow, which are denoised by three denoising blocks in purple. These three blocks share weights. On the right in blue, we see the second denoising step. These two blocks share the same architecture, which we see on the right which is basically a modified unit. By avoiding the estimation of the optical flow, we not only improve the running times, but we also avoid artifacts related to errors in motion compensation. In terms of objective performance, fast DVDNet outperforms other state-of-the-art approaches on different data sets and with different metrics. As you can see, our method yields results with excellent quality and great temporal stability. In terms of running times, our approach runs orders of magnitude faster than other competitors. With excellent quality and fast running times, fast DVDNet improves the state of the art in video denoising. Thank you.